What's going on everybody? It's your boy BJ coming at you with another video and I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for coming on my channel. So happy to have you here. If you guys are here for the first time, my name is BJ Uoha and I am your life and relationship coach and I'm here to inspire, motivate and encourage you to live your best life every single day. I uh, got a plug for you right now. I have a new course that's out that you can get if you want to learn how to become a love magnet and have love and relationships chasing you and not the other way around to where you're chasing them. Please go ahead and pick up that course. It's definitely going to change your life. It's going to change your whole outlook on love and relationships. And it's going to show you how to become a love magnet and have literally options and people chasing you for love and relationships. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, guys, this is all for the fellas today. And women, you can watch this too because maybe you might learn something and maybe you might see some qualities in your current boyfriend or a boyfriend you dated before that is possibly being a simp. So, man, uh, let's just talk about this. <laughs> There's a difference between being a gentleman and, there, and a simp. Now, a gentleman is someone who's going to stand up and be very cordial, uh, be very, uh, he can be very... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? He can be uh, very chivalrous uh, towards women and very respectful and good towards women, but he also still has a sense of self. He has a sense of who he is. He's very strong on his own. He doesn't need to be around a woman to feel like he's a gentleman. Uh, a simp, on the other hand, needs a woman. They need, need, need a woman. They need her to be around him. They need to do everything they can to please her. If they don't, their whole world is crumbling down and they just feel so lost without the woman. And, um, you know, um, you don't want to be a simp because all it does is it, it literally chases a woman away. They don't want to be close to you. They want to run from you. So let me give you the seven things right here that you want to avoid that will uh, keep you from being a simp. Because if you do these seven things, then that means you are a simp. So let me give you the seven steps to avoid becoming an all-time simp. Number one, stop begging. Begging makes you a simp. Why? Because real men don't beg. And I'm not saying you gotta be a douchebag and be some a-hole and you know uh, pretend like you don't care about people. But a man who stands his ground, who knows what he wants, is uh, firm on his morals, and he's true to himself, doesn't beg other people to be with him or be in his life. Why? Because he's true to himself. He puts himself first. And when he puts himself first, he can then do other things better. He can love other people better. He can uh, add value to other people more because he's full within himself first. A simp is someone who begs because they feel like they're empty. Like, oh, I need you in my life. Please don't leave me. Please don't go. Send me a text message. Why haven't you called me? Oh, it's been five minutes, baby. Why haven't you called me? Why haven't you texted me? That's simping at an all-time high. You cannot do that. When you are begging like this, you are being a simp. Step number two, being overly nice. <laughs> when you are being overly nice, uh, a lot of times it comes off as being phony or fake. You know, I'm pretty sure you've seen the guys like that who they cannot form a sentence when they're talking to a woman that they like or that they're interested in, that they want to talk to without putting some type of compliment in there every single sentence. And I'm not against complimenting women. Heck, I compliment women every day. I always say, you know, you know, I'll say, hey, you look beautiful today. Your hair looks nice or something like that. But, um, you know, it's like even when I'm dating someone, I always want to remind the woman how beautiful she is to me. Um, you know, just, she just looks good to me. It's like, oh, you look beautiful. Your eyes look beautiful or you smell good. Something nice just to put a smile on their face. But when you're simping and being overly nice, this is a guy who's being cheesy. Like, oh my God, did you fall from heaven? Or did you hurt yourself when you fell from heaven? How did it feel when you hit the ground, when you fell from heaven? And it's like, they say things like that every single time. And it's like, oh, I lost my phone number. Do you mind if I have yours? It's like cheesy things like that. And they say it every single time. And it's like, oh, if I had a woman as beautiful as you are, I would be the happiest man in the entire universe. And they just make these overly cheesy statements. And it's like, even the girls are like, dude, like, come on, like, stop trying so hard. <laughs> so stop doing this because when you're doing this, you're being very simpish. Step number three, always checking her social media. Guys, stop doing this. If you're always checking her social media, it just means that you don't have enough going on in your own life. If you're always trying to see what's going on in her life, it means your life must be kind of boring. 
when guys are always overly checking a girl's social media to see what is she doing? Who is she talking to? Who is she out with? Is she out on a date? Is she dating somebody else? Ugh, what's she doing? Is she eating somewhere? Is she going shopping today? Is she on the beach? Like you're literally stressing yourself out. You're putting yourself out. You're making yourself look very simpish. So the thing you have to do is you have to find things that make you full. Do things to have fun. Go out to the beach, go have fun with your friends, do your workouts, read your books, focus on your goals and your passions. And when you do things like that, you don't have time to focus on what somebody else is doing. You don't have time to check her social media because you're too busy focused on your own life. Focus on your own life. Stop focusing on, on, focusing on somebody else's because that makes you simpish. Number four, always putting her first. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with putting your woman first. Uh, you know, when you're in a serious committed relationship or, or when you're married, uh, there's nothing wrong with putting them first with certain things, not with everything. Now, when I say putting her first, I'm saying to the extent to where you're always making yourself last to where you're literally putting everything that you would like to do on the back burner because she wants to do them. Now, any good woman is not going to allow this to happen anyway. She's not going to allow uh, she wouldn't even be okay with her always having a say so, always doing what she wants to do. If she truly loves you and cares about you, she's not gonna do this. Now, there are women that will take advantage of simpish men like this because they know that you're always gonna say, oh yeah, whatever she wants to do, I'm gonna do it. And when you do this, you're literally giving, you know, you're letting her take your balls and pretty much hold them like this. So what do you gotta do about this? Stop putting her first so much you have to literally be focused on what you want to do as well because if two people really love each other they can communicate and talk and make things happen together and not always going well, what she wants to do or where she wants to eat or where she wants to go have a drink at or whatever friends how she's going to you have to go like uh, cancel that you're being simpish if you're doing that <laughs> step number five compromising your dreams uh you got to stop doing this why am i saying steps these aren't steps these are steps to be a simp <laughs> Stop compromising your dreams to fulfill whatever she wants to do. When you're doing this, you're taking away your manpower. Once again, you're not, you're not being truthful to yourself. You have to be truthful to yourself and what it is you want in life. Because when you put yourself last and you put others first, you can never fully be the full version of the authentic version of you. And guess what the best version of you is? The full authentic version of you. God created us all to be our own special, unique creations. Every single one of us is a masterpiece in God's eyes. You cannot be who you are uniquely created to be if you're always doing everything to make someone else happy and putting yourself last. It doesn't work this way. So when you compromise your goals and your dreams, you might want to be an author. You might want to open up an orphanage. You might want to start a cooking show or something. You might want to uh, build a business and become a full-time entrepreneur. Uh, you might want to um, get into acting or show business. Whatever your dreams and your goals are, stay firm on those. Stay firm on those and don't compromise because of somebody else. When you stay firm on your goals, this makes you strong in who you are and it doesn't make you a simp. Number six, letting her walk all over you. And this is quite, uh, it's sad when you see this. Um, when you let a woman walk all over, you're basically letting her do and say anything she wants to, and you are just taking it in a way. Um, she'll, you know, cuss you out, calling your names, and that can be abusive, guys, and nobody deserves to be in an abusive relationship. And if that's happening to you, you need to run quickly because it doesn't get any better. I've been in a situation like that before where I was with a woman that was very combative. All she would want to do was argue every single time about any little thing. It wasn't fun and it was always stressful for myself and she was always stressed out and it was just a terrible, terrible situation. You don't want to be in a situation like that and it's not even a healthy relationship. It becomes like a situation ship because it's like you guys are only together for probably one thing, which is probably the physical aspect of it. And then even that's not going on as much because you guys hate each other so much. You can't stand each other. You can't even stand to be around each other. So what good is a relationship like that if you can't even get along? You want to have a good friendship with a person you're with. And if that person can't respect you as a friend and love you uh, with great love and joy, then you don't need to be in that relationship. Don't be a simp and allow a woman to bash you, down talk you, and make you feel like you don't matter because you do. The last step, which is number seven, you're always the one chasing her. You're always the one sending the text message. You're always the one making the phone calls. She's never 
texting or calling you first. She's never the one to reach out first. It's always you every single time. And it's literally you that makes contact with her because she's not putting in the effort. Guys, if this is happening, it's one-sided. You're not getting a healthy uh, relationship because it takes two people to make a relationship work. It takes two people to form a relationship. That's what a relationship is, two people coming together to make a relationship, a very intimate bond. And if only one person is putting in all the work and the other person is taking, 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 and the only one giving, 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 guess what? It's one-sided. It's not a healthy relationship and you're being a simp because you're chasing her like she's the only woman out there in the world when there are trillions of women in the world, trillions and trillions of women, beautiful women. And I'm sure out of trillions of women, you'll find someone that will love you and want to be with you. And guess what? It'll happen when you least expect it. But it happens when you're not simping. You can't be chasing. You can't be stressing and trying to figure out what she's doing. You got to be your full version of yourself, authentic, love yourself, fill yourself up with love and joy and peace do things that fulfill you and have fun in life. And when you're true to yourself, you will attract people that are also true to themselves to you. And then guess what? You can form happy, healthy relationships from those people there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and drop me a thumbs up. If you're feeling this content, comment down below where you're from or what your input is on simping. Have you ever been a simp before? Are you being a simp right now? Um, do you know someone who is being a simp right now who needs to watch this video? Maybe a friend of yours. Go ahead and send this to them. Share this with a friend so that they can stop doing it. Uh, so that they can turn it around and stop doing the things that are making them be a simp and causing women to walk all over you and put you down. So go ahead and uh, drop me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Be sure to hit that bell icon so that way you can be notified whenever I do upload new content to the channel. I'll put the link down below if you want to pick up the new Become a Love Magnet course. It's out right now. It's going to teach you how to become a love magnet. You'll literally have the women chasing you for sure. And if you're a woman that's watching this video, you'll have the men chasing you too if they aren't already. <laughs> but they'll be better quality men. So I'll put some other videos up here for you to go ahead and take a look at. As usual, I love you guys. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next post. Peace.